Rockstar has dropped a new trailer for the Cayo Preco heist coming December 15th, Tuesday. I'll be getting up early in the morning my time and we'll be checking it out via live stream. Speaking of live streams, tomorrow we go to Night City in the year 2077 all weekend long. Hopefully you'll join me for Cyberpunk 2077. If you go to my community tab, you have a chance to cast your vote as to what life path you wish for me to take. Corporate, Nomad, Street Kid. Looks like Street Kid's winning at the moment, barely against Nomad. I guess none of you want me to be a corporate suit. Well, that makes three of us. Anyways, that is happening tomorrow. Before we get to the breakdown trailer, let's look over the artwork because this is worth breaking down as well. In the middle, we have El Rubio. This is going to be the main antagonist. We also have some vehicles. We have a, a Mesa Classic over here. We also got some new uh, 4x4s, I guess. And we have the submarine. We have a weaponized dinghy. We have a, a classic sports car, I'm guessing. Either sp classic sports or super, probably a classic sports car. We got some uh, weapons. Uh, those AK-47s or something else entirely. Maybe we're finally going to get new weapons. Maybe some new hairstyles. Maybe some new clothing. And uh, some new uh, aircraft. We have this uh, version of the Sea Sparrow. It looks like the Sea Sparrow except for without the ability to land on water and apparently with no weapons. To be honest, I don't know why Rockstar would add this version of the Sea Sparrow. Seems kind of pointless. But then we have something pretty interesting for all you pilots in uh, GTA Online. Looks like a new jet. And according to Red, it is a Rockwell B-1 Lancer, a supersonic variable sweep wing heavy bomber used by the U.S. Air Force. It is called the Bone, one of the three strategic bombers in the U.S. Air Force as of late 2020, others being the B-2 Spirit and the B-52 Strata Fortress. Fun fact, uh, the Air Force base across the river from where I live actually has an entire squadron of B-52s, and sometimes you see them flying around. But B-1 Lancer is officially coming to GTA Online, part of the Cayo Perico heist. And the artwork looks decent. And there's obviously going to be dancing, uh, the club scene going on, along with the uh, island itself, a fortress, a paradise, all mixed into one. Maybe some of the stuff you'll be able to score, whatever's in these Amazon packages. Maybe these are uh, PS5s, right? <laughs> Maybe that's what he stole. <laughs> and a little bit of money that these cars are driving over. So there we go. I think that's everything from the artwork. So we're going to dive into the trailer once again, this is linked below in the description section. We'll just go through it, uh, I guess, maybe not exactly frame by frame, but we'll look at it, see what's in here, anything of interest. So you got some girls. They're uh, hopping on a jet. I think that jet already exists in GT Online. I don't think that's a new private jet, so I could be wrong about that. But these girls are heading off to the island to have a good time. And here's another image of Cayo Perico. I'm going to get a couple of images here, actually. A little uh, party going on, some dancing, getting along, having a good time. And uh, the DJ's talking about, hey, we know we're all here because of one man, El Rubio, who is this uh, fella. Seems like a nice guy. And he talks about, hey, you know, everything's legal here. You know, it's not like the mainland. He has this personification of a nice guy, a well-to-do and all about having a good time, but obviously there's more to El Rubio than meets the eye. I'm sure we're going to see a darker side to him as well. All right, so moving on. I guess this is the new nightclub at uh, the Diamond Casino, the locker room. No, the music locker. That's it, the music locker. Why they added a new uh, nightclub when we already have nightclubs, that's a question you can ask yourself. So I'm guessing this is where the uh, mission is going to initiate. English Dave is back from the After Hours update. So this is kind of a sequel to uh, all the heists, uh, like the heists, uh, the uh, Doomsday heists, as well as uh, the Diamond Casino heist from last year. It's also, I guess you could say, a sequel to After Hours because it also includes English Dave. He at least makes a cameo. And I do think we are introduced to a, a new guy. Well, he's talking to this girl, and she clearly doesn't understand what he's saying because of his deep English accent. And then you have uh, one of the new DJs coming to GTA Online, courtesy of the Cayo Preco Heist. We did a video about that a few days ago. And uh, here's another image of the island itself, Cayo Preco. We've got a fortress. 
Obviously, that is to uh, protect all the, the, the tourists and, and the dancing and stuff and some of the activities going on, probably on Cayo Preco, you know, one of the setups you can do. And this looks like the go-to guy, the guy who wants you to go and uh, rob from El Rubio. I don't know what his name is yet. I wonder if uh, Lester is going to be involved. I really don't know. And uh, see, oh, you have a grappling hook, so I wonder if we're actually going to be able to use that not only on Cayo Perico, but are we going to be able to be like uh, like 1960s Batman and grapple climbing up uh, the maze tower? That'd be kind of fun. I doubt it, but anyways. Looks like a, a new uh, military-esque outfit, some uh, digital camo right there, along with a duffel bag. What else do we got? Uh, this is uh, one of the items we, we saw in the artwork, uh, this... Uh, cat big giant cat with some diamonds on it on top of a ball might be something you can steal for money and uh that looks like one of those things that you would put on like a on a glass that would like suction to it and it would allow you to like laser cut it open so that looks like a new uh, device specifically for the Cayo preco heist in order to get past some really thick uh plexiglass all right so next let's look okay so here's another image of the guy that i guess is hiring you this is the go-to guy we have no idea who he is I guess we'll find out more on uh, Tuesday, December 15th, when the Cayo Preco heist comes out. But apparently he's the one who wants you to go to Cayo Preco and rob El Rubio. Why? That remains to be seen. And, of course, he talks about how you're going to need a submarine. So we are going to have a submarine as our HQ. We've, we've known about that for a few weeks now. And uh, some people say it's going to be drivable. I really don't know if that's going to be the case. I hate to give people's hopes up. I just think that it's going to be very similar to the yacht where you can just like spawn it around the map. Probably just Cayo Preco, maybe the main island of Southern San Andreas as well. But there's going to be things you'll be able to do with the uh, submarine. I think that you're going to have the ability to launch a missile. So yeah, obviously a missile. Probably I would guess a Tomahawk missile makes more sense. I just hope that it doesn't end up being like uh, an orbital cannon, like the new orbital cannon where you can use this against uh, players in free roam. I hope that's not the case because personally, I really wish we didn't have the orbital cannon in free roam, but unfortunately we do along with the broomstick. My concern is that this thing might be used against players in free roam. Maybe not to the same extent to say an orbital cannon, or maybe Rockstar will just limit it to uh, the heist for uh, Kaya Perico. I guess we'll have to find out. So we got some uh, radar images a little air battle going on. I got a buzzard. Looks like that's a savage in the background. So yeah, another buzzard, a savage. But there is a, a couple new helicopters. Another scene of, I'm guessing, the music locker. So the music locker is a new destination for all of you if you're into the nightclub scene. And we also have, I guess this is going to be the new uh, heist board. It's going to be inside the submarine HQ. So you have a, a heist board for the original heist in your high-end apartment. You have a heist board for Doomsday Heist in your facility. You have a heist board for uh, the uh, Casino Heist in your arcade. They can't just compile that all together into one board, can they? So this is Cayo Perico. I guess this gives us a good idea of what the island's going to look like. We have the Madrazo file. So I guess Martin Madrazo is involved with El Rubio to some degree. There's also a, a secondary targets. So I guess these are some of the options you're going to have in the Cayo Perico Heist when it comes to uh, money and I guess uh, there's going to be a certain percentage of it that you'll get, a certain percentage your crewmates will get. Unless you choose to go solo, you will have that option, either by yourself or about the four players total. I can't read over here what's going on on this side. It's not very legible, but there's probably going to be like some prep work, some setups, and then, of course, uh, the finale with some options to tackle it in a variety of different ways for the replayability. All right, so let's see what else we got here. We've probably got a few other things we can look at. Okay, here's an interesting thing. Along with the weaponized dinghies, that appears to be a World War II PT boat. I could be mistaken, but I think this is a PT boat. So it looks like we're going to have weaponized dinghies as well as a PT boat. Looks like it's armored. We'll probably be able to put some weapons on it, maybe some different liveries. That goes well with the uh, classic Mesa, you know, World War II era Jeep. So that fits quite well. And I think that this is a back. This might be the back of the PT boat. So I, this is my theory: is that uh, you're going to be on the the weaponized PT boat, right? Well, all PT boats were weaponized, <laughs> chased by these uh, weaponized dinghies. They're chasing you. You and your crew will be on this boat, and we'll be shooting at them, trying to repel them. So a new armored boat in GTA Online 
I hope that this thing can withstand some uh, rockets, especially from certain broomsticks that like to fly around the place. So we'll just have to see how fast, maneuverable, how deadly, and how much damage this baby can take. But this is really cool. I like the fact they're adding a PT boat. And uh, obviously, uh, there's some sweet looking gold that you can uh, rob and uh, take over to Red Dead Online. Oh, wait, you can't? Damn it. I thought we could. So obviously, there's going to be options similar to the Casino Heist where you can work, like occasionally get cash or art or uh, gold, sometimes diamonds. I'm sure there's going to be a variety of items that we'll be able to uh, take off of El Rubio throughout the uh, Cayo Perico Heist finales. So they'll probably rotate very similar. All right, so what else we got next? Okay, we have another image of English Dave. This looks like it's at the airport, and we have a, a private jet behind him. So I don't know if he's going to the island as well. So we'll see what he has to do with all this, or is he just going to be involved in the nightclub? So here's a new helicopter. I'm trying to figure out what kind of helicopter this is. It seems to be very armored, and it looks to be like a, a passenger helicopter, like a troop transport. I didn't see any guns on it whenever I looked at it. It doesn't look like it has any uh, weapons. Maybe it has some like machine guns, and maybe it's customizable. Maybe a better version of the Valkyrie, but as you can tell, there's no Gatling guns on it. I mean, our mini guns. <laughs> Get out of the late 19th century, GB. Anyway, so it doesn't look like this thing has any uh, offensive capabilities, but it's possible that it might be customizable. It looks really sweet looking. It looks like it might be like a stealth chopper with this armor the way it is. Hopefully it can uh, withstand a lot more rockets than, say, the Valkyrie can. And I hope that you can put guns on it, maybe rockets, maybe like a front like a gun that you know with explosive ammo. This might be quite interesting, this uh, new helicopter. I guess we'll find out more about that coming up on uh, Tuesday. But if you know what this is in real life, let me know in the comment section. I was trying to figure out what it was, but to no avail. Some people say it's a Nighthawk or something. I, I don't know. But obviously you're flying towards the island in this helicopter. It does look really cool. So hopefully that'll be a good helicopter. Hopefully it'll be fast. And uh, here's another image at the nightclub, the music locker. I really... Don't see the point of the music locker, to be honest, because we already have, uh, you know, player nightclubs, but it is what it is. All right, so this looks very similar to the way After Hours was. So there's a lot of uh, copy pasta with the nightclub. So we got uh, Cayo Prico Heist officially coming December 15th. That's this Tuesday. Biggest update to GTA Online yet. There's going to be a lot of uh, music added along with the nightclubs, DJs, some new radio stations. Uh, some new content like uh, vehicles, probably some clothing, hopefully some new weapons, maybe finally some new hairstyles. And of course, the Cayo Perico heist itself. I am looking forward to it. Once again, I'm going to be streaming this coming up on uh, Tuesday morning, early in the morning, getting up out of bed to stream and play the Cayo Perico heist. Looking forward to it. And we'll probably be playing this all next week. So this is probably what we're going to be doing next week during my birthday week. So there you go. I think that's pretty much everything we saw. I'm guessing that this big cat with the diamonds and gold on top of this ball is one of the many things we'll be able to steal from El Rubio. I'm sure he'll like that a lot. Probably not. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. A little bit of uh, dialogue below the trailer. Anything goes on Cayo Perico, a private paradise that's home to the infamous El Rubio, the world's preeminent narcotic trafficker and supplier to the Madrazo family. So that is the connection between Martin Madrazo and El Rubio. So they have this uh, thing going on, obviously, be between Martin and El Rubio. Cayo Perico is not only the nerve center of El Rubio's drug empire, but Island is also playing host to other great love of his marathon dance parties on golden beaches, where everyone from jet setters to heiresses to legendary music producers gather to rave until the sun comes up. But away from the beach's earthly delights lies an untold fortune in art, gold, drug money scattered across the island. It's the score of a lifetime for those who have a way to find in. The Cayo Perico Heist is the biggest GT Online adventure ever and will be available on December 15th. Stay tuned for more details, which I will cover in future videos leading up to the release of Cayo Perico Heist on December 15th. And check out the lineup of the Music Locker, which I did cover a few days ago. Feel free and check that video out as well. Once again, article link below in the description section along with the trailer. If there's anything I missed or anything that you would like to include, your thoughts, your views, and opinions regarding the Cayo Perico trailer, as always, welcome below in the comments section.